Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton and singing a big bat in the lineup so far this year. Ronald Acuna Jr. leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from. Just about set to go. On the hill here today, Spencer Strider. Chris is up three ERA for him a year ago. Oh, and your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters. It's extremely impressive, and you wonder what he figured out last year that he can carry into this season that can help him to maintain that number or even drop it lower. We'll see, but we know he's got good stuff, and he should be really good in this one today. And a pitch. On the ground at first. Olsen takes it to the bag. One up, one down. And let's take a look at the lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch, you better not miss it. One down, base is empty. There's a strike. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever, if they do at all. That misses. Ball two. Got him swinging. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball becomes such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. And I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Smash to the left side. Swings to first. That's out number three. Miami down in order. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively. Show. Welcome back. And pitching here today, Sammy Alcantara. What's the word on him? A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Bottom of the first, and now the center fielder, Michael Harris. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And that one fouled off. Two now, and ball one. And now the count is even. Popped up to the left, and the foul ground. Wendell pulls that one down, and yeah, there's one away. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. And one of the most exciting young stars in the sport, Ronald Acuna Jr. Well, he's one of the best on-base guys in the league right now. He just has that knack for working a lot of deep counts. And pitchers don't seem to want to challenge them too often either. Top five in on-base percentage in the National League. Here's Orlando Arcia. 
One for four with a triple last night. First offering misses badly for ball one. Now Contra, multi-time all-star, he features a changeup, a sinker, a four-seamer, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Two balls, no strikes to count. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. And he deals. That's in for a strike.
And then the right hander back to work. Upstairs. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Next offering is down low. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Runner takes off. And a first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boo. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. No, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. And now, Brian De La Cruz. Oh, no. Second inning here, no score. Side foul territory. And Cooney able to make the ground. Two way down. And now the DH, Jesus Sanchez. Two homers in the game yesterday, so he's feeling good coming in. And it's on one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Bowling one now. And there's a foul ball. Righty delivers, gets a piece, and it stays on two. This one in the dirt. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. the first and that's where it's through they stop the lead runner at second now two on with two outs good two strike hitting right there Boog. a bit of a lost start for some so that was nicely done to beat the odds just one of those seen high base hits through the infield and just kind of rolled over on it a little bit but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game gene segura in the box now take strike one one down. Now he breaks as bad as it's put in play. Tosses the first, third out. Marlins strand a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. So here's Murphy now. If you don't get ahead of the count, 
you can forget about having any success against him. And here comes. Good strike on to the catcher. A little out front there as he swings through it. And he'll two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Only two now. Started to swing, held up. <laughs> that pitch wasn't even close. And they still got a check swing out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment and make it fast. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Next offering misses, and it's three and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. That's what good singers designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Here's Austin Riley. Homered last night, added another hit as well. Austin Riley, a guy that's turned into one of the young stars in the National League. Chris, he's got big time power. And that one is lifted in the air. Solaire gets under it. And there's two away. Here's Marcelo Zuna. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Hard ground ball base now. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here is Ozzy Albies up to you. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. and fires. Swing and a miss. Ozuna leads off first with two down to the inning. The next pitch misses and it's two and two. Two outs. Gentlemen in, move to speed. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Dela Cruz settles under it, squeezes it, and that will end the inning. One left for Atlanta. We'll move to the third with no score.